It's time, Dying Light 2 is coming. It's finally coming. You've all waited for this moment forever, or for what feels like forever. This time, the independent studio Techland, who with Warner Brothers released Dying Light 1, the original Dying Light, has now partnered with Square Enix to release Dying Light 2. What does this mean and what do we know? Hang tight as I go through all the details available, and if you're as crazy about Dying Light 2 as I am and you want to get updated on anything Dying Light from the number one Dying Light content producer on YouTube, yeah, that's me, then subscribe to the channel and click the like button if you enjoy this video. So, little information and so much wants. This game, Dying Light 2, no matter the quality, no matter anything really, it will be a success. All they really need to do is add a few things, right? Correct. And also not correct. If Dying Light 2 comes out as Dying Light 1 with a few upgrades, all will be happy because we just really want more Dying Light. The good thing is that Techland has amped up Dying Light 2 and it's gonna be delivering an unbelievable experience. In the first Dying Light game, we had parkour but it was something that we all felt needed something else. In Dying Light 2, we will have a better experience as the parkour in the game has been enhanced with more moves, and as the designers have said, it's gonna give you a chance to attack with parkour and be able to perform moves during the encounter. It sounds awesome, so instead of just drop kicking somebody as a parkour move, they've already said they've doubled the parkour moves available in Dying Light 2. With the help of game designer and, actually, with the help of legendary game designer and writer Chris Avalone in the role as the game's narrative designer, the new Dying Light 2 game will take place in medieval times, so to speak, in what they're calling modern dark ages. The dynamics of the game have changed, and just like the medieval times, when you stole bread and you got your hand cut off, your choices and consequences are going to decide the game in Dying Light 2. The modern Dark Ages will provide little technology and a scarce environment with less and harder to get loot, making using your parkour and combat skills a must to survive in Dying Light 2. Whereas in Dying Light the first game, you pretty much just could get loot and go around and killing zombies. They're adding more of a dynamic to the Dying Light 2 game so you're actually gonna have to work on your parkour and your combat skills, not so much rely on just a gold or legendary weapon. While they are calling it medieval times, it is being referred to as the modern dark ages, meaning that it takes place post-apocalypse where the only technology that exists is the ones that survived. The new Dying Light game is poised to succeed with an ever supportive fan base. Check out all the new gameplay at this year's E3. What gives Dying Light 2 an even more boost is the fact that it's going to be in Square Enix's display at the E3 and surrounded by other games that's going to get the attention of other players boosting the notoriety of Dying Light 2. Not only is Marvel's new game going to be displayed alongside Dying Light 2, but also the remake of Final Fantasy's most popular and anticipated release of Final Fantasy VII. So while there is hype for Dying Light 2, there's plenty of hype from us players who love Dying Light. Well, there's also going to be hype for other games, like Final Fantasy VII and the new Marvel game. And when they see how great Dying Light is, this zombie game, you're slashing zombies, they got parkour, and all the stuff that we as fans love Dying Light, when they see this for Dying Light 2, people are going to start talking about it. Expect the fan base to grow for Dying Light. What do you think about the new Dying Light 2 that's coming? Are you excited? Are you like me? Have you been waiting for a new Dying Light? You just love Dying Light. And I still play Dying Light, but I love Dying Light and I just want Dying Light 2. Now, it's coming. There's no real hard set release date for Dying Light 2, but... The chances are you could see it around October to December. Are you excited for the new Dying Light? 
Comment below. I'm Redneck. Peace.